In 2020, my dad faced a huge loss in stock market. And at that particular time, I was verge at dropping out from school. I started my own Gen AI company with Shobham around six months ago and is now funded by the top leaders of Infosys and Microsoft. I worked as a data scientist at Artifact working on large-scale NLP applications when LLMs was not even a word. And then I worked in a German-based company, ZenML, a popular MLOps framework and been an integral part of the team. And post that, I opened my own freelancing firm, replayed a UK-based company as a lead data scientist and led several careers economy products. But when I started my journey into this space, I had very little privileges. My parents were completely from non-technical background and we had a very few money in the bank account. We were in a situation where my mother has to take a loan from her friend in order to pay up the school fees or to take care of the meals on a daily basis. To bring up my family from the situation, I had to do things. And I decided to go in a very hard way. Because I always believed in that if you need to start something, you should always look out what's the hardest way to do this. And I know this is very controversial between hard work or smart work. But in starting, hard work gives you the strength and stamina to tackle all the problems and challenges and eventually builds up your core and fundamentals of a particular subject. I always want to do something that everyone is not doing. And when I was back in class eight, very few people of my age were into the data science or machine learning space. And to even get a job into this space, you need professional degrees, you need professional understanding of the subject. And then eventually you get a job. That's what I wanted. I devoted my next set of years in this space. But it didn't happen over the night. I and my family faced several challenges, several problems over the time. As one of my mentor used to say, it's very easy to say that you want to do things uniquely. But eventually, this is the very hard path you will be following if you want to do things unique. Because things don't become unique in just one night. It takes the years of the work to build that one unique factor. When I started learning, I was able to understand each and everything. I enrolled into the Andrew Nung course, made notes out of it, and then I sat into my first interview. And I was brutally rejected. At first, I thought it's something that the interview is negligence. But then I sat in another interview, I got brutally rejected over there. And then I realized something. Now, I again reminded myself that now it's not your competition with the folks of your age. Now is the competition of the people who are in college, who has done master's or PhD degrees out there. And to be honest, everyone was doing the same thing. There was not even a single difference in my project and other guys' project. And then I started my way to do things in a unique way to build a top differentiator that can differentiate me from the people or college students or a people who have high set of degrees. And then instead of going like machine learning in 10 hours video sort of thing, I started reading books on each topic. Say, for example, linear regression, I've completed 600 pager book on that. And I knew for the fact that not every aspirants will do. Only the guy who are determined enough will do it. I started learning each and every topic from the books specifically made for the topic. I even opened up the research papers from back in 1990s to understand how things evolved over the time. I learned everything from scratch, whatever was required, whether it's the class 8 mathematics, class 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, whatever was required at that particular time, I learned it. Sometimes I was not able to understand and I used to be demotivated. But I knew for the fact that if I build my base strong as much as possible, it's very easy to learn any such advanced topic. So I was focusing on my core and the base and I spent over eight months in just learning about the core and the base of machine learning, which was core mathematics and the core machine learning. And that hard work paid off. After my continuous one and a half years of learning and efforts, I was finally able to grab one of the high paying internship, which pays two weeks more than what Google India pays to their average software engineer. And then I joined ZenML as an MLOps engineer. And there I realized that the importance of MLOps and the production grade projects in the industry was that I never looked back. I joined as a lead data scientist to replay it. And then I spent over an, a one and a half year over there. And now I act as a consultant and running my own company over here. Parallelly, I developed one of the best machine learning course on the internet, which was recommended or endorsed by MIT, CS and AI Labs, and was endorsed also by the founder of Freecodecamp himself. 
and it got millions of views in just no time and my freelancing firm went from $10 ticket size to over $10,000 for a single freelancing service and from starting i had a vision that what if i could develop one solution where a particular guy comes in they get everything which was required to be the top 1% into the data science space and i started teaching data science and machine learning a couple of years back i started anton and teaching the first 10 students and now we are teaching more than hundreds of students and helping them to grab their dream job or helping them to get their first paycheck let's hear from the student himself you tell me about the offers which you got recently yeah so i did like two time internship at google and then after that i received a full time offer from google and also a six month and full time offer from atlassian also with that i have interviewed with very mncs in india and abroad also thank you so much can you tell me how this course has helped you in uh, sure so uh, initially i think we did a lot of uh, theoretical assignments you know writing uh, assignments and you know a lot of interviews based on those uh, technical questions mm-hmm. of ml algorithms and all that mm-hmm. so and uh, yeah that's what we started on and i think as we progressed we started writing a lot of uh, production level code for ml ops projects and you know uh, learning things about different tech stacks such as you know uh, cicd pipelining and you know data uh, data workflow and uh-huh. all that So yeah and I think uh, towards the end of the course I think we learned a lot of the soft skills as well that's required for an ML engineer uh, such as uh, writing emails sending cold emails through uh, cold DMs through LinkedIn and also uh, you know writing cover letters and resumes and all that mm-hmm. so yeah I think it was a pretty comprehensive course and learned a lot of things there okay so I think you have given a final examination too can you explain me how was that was oh yeah uh, the final exam as well we covered a lot of Uh, different portions uh, from starting from data uh, data wrangling like the words uh, ml algorithms so yeah i think we wrote about five exams yeah yeah, yeah i know a course of i think 15 20 days and yeah that was definitely i learned a lot we had a lot of take home assignments as well so there was both practical and theoretical yeah, yeah. so that was definitely great and uh, i think that's when the the amount of days that i learned the most <laughs> okay yeah. good 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 Ah, uh, so I have heard that we have received the placement offer. So can you tell a little bit about that and how it's done? Sure. Yeah. Uh, the interview process obviously it is uh, quite strenuous, but I think I got around like uh, five, six interviews. Five to six. Uh, yeah. yeah, I got to the technical, final technical round in most of them. Uh, but in, a, in a, uh, finally, I chose this uh, company called uh, Clearfield AI, yeah. and uh, they were offering a very competitive package, and also they were, uh, I think, the kind of tech. I was getting to work with such as NLP and uh, generative AI. That's the kind of skill set I was trying to specialize as well. I'm trying to specialize as well. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, I was a good fit for the role as well. So that's the company I've gone, I've went with, and I'm having a great time there. And I'm doing. Sure. Uh, I hope that it, uh, that you understood how the course helped the fish was to actually gain a particular placement. So I hope this helps. Let's catch up. problem which i faced about the core machine learning about the practicalities like ml ops tackle all of these challenges there is no up to date curriculum available out here you all were waiting for the same finally we are launching cso1 bo5 our sole motto and agenda from this program is to transform you from nothing to being a top 1% data science learner so that you know things better than those 99% of the people studying into this space where you're capable of learning generalizing and implementing literally anything one of the case study is vishwas gaura enrolled for a core machine learning course and now he's working in one of the llm startups reason is his ability which is developed over the 6 months to learn and adapt to new things so that you are not just restricted to machine learning which acts as a core but also you advance yourself to next level technology we have a structured learning curriculum and a curriculum is very vast enough to overwhelm you so for that reason we have our own personalized form where you get a personalized guidance on how you should go throughout this course based on your some of the skills which we test in that form and you will be reached out by one of our counselors he or she will be giving the guidance form where you can take that and take advice from that and eventually go throughout the course because we believe in that you need to have a plan in order to get started with the course our course rely on two major strengths first 
is core machine learning and second is practical machine learning where in core we teach you topics in much more detailed way we have taught linear regression in 10 hours where people just take 1 hour to teach we have taught logistic in over 8 hours where people just take 30 minutes to teach about it it's not just we are exaggerating it's about how well you know the underlying technology and as well as algorithms inside the particular set we are also not just teaching algorithms we are teaching how it works why it works and how to make it work which is the most famous asked questions into the data science and machine learning interviews and the next practical machine learning and for this we have taken a major step in today which is we have partnered with the data wars one of the best platforms where you can practice your machine learning and data science skills let's hear from santiago himself on why practical ml and how data wars will help you over the time hello my name is santiago and besides being one of the founders of data wars i'm also an expert data scientist with more than 15 years of experience in this field i have worked with any type of company you can think of from big banks to small startups anything and if i can tell you one thing if i can give you just one small piece of advice is that practice makes the expert you need to be able to apply all the knowledge you have into real life scenarios now anthrax course is amazing because it builds on all these foundational concepts all this technical knowledge that is going to make you a top 1% data scientist and what we're doing at data wars we're building this catalog of more than 150 free real life projects you can just go and practice there is no theory you just go and solve real life projects from data wrangling to sql to machine learning etc just go and focus on applying the concepts that you've learned now go and sign up for data wars right now because it's completely free you're going to find a huge catalog of projects to start solving right now and if you're part of anthrax course you're going to enjoy the exclusive projects we're building together about machine learning ml ops etc so go and sign up right now at datawars.io i want to see in your portfolio this huge list of amazing projects ready to showcase your knowledge to the world and we have taken another major step in enhancing your practical journey is we have partnered with zenml themselves the most famous mlops framework where they've introduced mlops to the youth they have introduced mlops to the most of the organizations out there and probably one of the creators of mlops is going to be involved with teaching mlops to you all let's hear from creators of zenml that why mlops is important and how zenml is going to help you all with the partnership with anta hi there this is adam and hamza from zenml very early in your machine learning journey you are working in scripts and would like to bring that into production somewhere or let's say you are in a research development and you would like to bring it in production to create an um, roi for your companies and this is where mlops is needed to bring to transition from research to production and zenml our company is helping to do that right so what we're doing at zenml is we are creating an open source ml ops framework that helps with exactly this transition by creating machine learning pipelines that go from the data engineering and feature engineering phase to the post deployment and monitoring phase so we cover the entire life cycle of how a machine learning model is developed and this is something that you will learn in this bootcamp and we are very happy to be partnering with Antern so that we can present you a course which will take you from these notebooks where you start learning about basic machine learning methods and the fundamentals to actually getting into production with a robust ml ops framework that you can use in your job and your career as you move forward so join us and let's learn together while we have another interesting part is that you can literally earn while you are learning vr freelancing gigs you get to earn your initial paychecks from the several of the tactics which i'll be sharing to you all so basically this is how it happens in most of the gig scenarios so what you do you develop a project under me which is uniquely developed by you and then you document that project and convert it into a blog and then eventually you get paid to publish that blog into a blogging platform it can be any third party blogging platform and they pay you literally well our students has got 3x 4x even 10x of the return from working like this and this does not have a benefit of just earning this has a benefit of having a portfolio production grade projects into this and because of this vishwas gowda one of my student or any of the student was able to get into big companies out there and now if you reach to the position where you're ready to apply we give you placement assistance we help you to draft your resume we help you draft your cold email we help you shortlist the companies and other such assistance it's not guaranteed again i'm saying 
it's not guaranteed it's just the assistance which you provide or the reference if i ever have i give it to my students again it's totally based on your hard work consistency and efforts which you'll be putting in this is not the learn quick machine learning this is learn the machine learning in hardest way also, we also have a several bonuses like upgrading your LinkedIn, having a stunning portfolio website, which is related to ML, which looks at more academia. And these are not just benefits. These are just 10% of the whole benefits. I suggest you to visit our course website to know more about what exactly the benefits in more detailed and concrete way. Or if you can, you can obviously reach out to the customer support team over here, the number, you can just WhatsApp them. They'll be answering your questions for sure. But wait. I stole something in starting. I told that money was a problem with me. But if somebody has put the money, probably they would have done something. But I had a money problem. I was able to get away from it. But there are many students who are not able to get their way back. We are introducing scholarship. Data Wars will be sponsoring students who are in a need of a financial or who are in need of some sort of scholarship from Data Wars or Anton, whatever we could do from our best from our side. Thanks to Data Wars team in helping us to take our initiative up and eventually provide the scholarship and provide the learning opportunity to the folks who cannot really afford this. And to be honest, this is going to be very competitive. We are not going to take anyone who don't have a money. We will have several rounds of challenges. We'll be having several rounds of interviews and then we'll be selecting the ones who are actually well deserved. And it's not like that we'll be giving you some 30%, 40% like another marketing tactics. If you feel that we'll be providing need-based scholarship to the people who are in actual need, it can go up to 100% scholarship as per your need. And if you feel that you need that, then what you need to do, you need to fill up the form, which is available in the description down box below. And again, I'm saying this is a time consuming process. This will take you a long way. And along with, we are not going to select everyone. We have a, we are a very competitive in whom and what you're selecting. But wait, what's the pricing for the program? Several programs cost you thousands of dollars probably tens of thousands of dollars to do this. But for this, we are just going to charge $120 for this because we want the education to be affordable. At the same time, we don't, we also don't want our team because we have to compensate our team too. And this course will run for the next six to eight months. So I feel that this would be the very big investment on you. And now I just want to wrap up with one thing. If a class eight student from nothing to having a million dollar company and being this much experienced can do it, then what's stopping you in it? 